Oh, well, hello everyone. Good. Ooh, knuckle crack there. Oh, ow. Good Saturday afternoon. I'm still on vacation, but pretty much my vacation is coming down to close. We're going to do a daily climb today. What the? Okay, I thought I saw 10,000 there for a second. The silent again. All right, we're just going to jump into it. No daily dallying. We're doing a daily day just because I'm sort of just going to autopilot express some thoughts here. My vacation's pretty much rounding down here. Uh, after Sunday, it's back to the old grind. And oh man, is it's always an anxious day when I'm coming back from a vacation to seeing what the state of my desk is going to be in. But work's not really the biggest thing I wanted to discuss today. I'm not really here to discuss anything in all actuality. Hey, why is he doing so much? Mmm, plus three. Uh, it's Bo's G to Q. Or I should say, like, right now they're doing a, uh, like a seven hour RPG run. And no offense to that. It's like, just not my cup of tea. I'll watch a long run. It's just... You fucking kidding me? Couldn't give me one more strike there? We'll finish him off next turn. Uh, 7 RPG is not the way I really want to round out a marathon I enjoy watching, so uh, I'm just gonna call it there and get back to the pattern that we're used to. Oh, it is diverse. Hmm. I diversely do not want either of these. Although a week for free? Let's take it. We might upgrade that. Um... Not how I want to round in the marathon I enjoy watching. Uh, it was it was a good year. I Pretty much every year, now that I have a uh, the means and the income to affordably go to one of these events. Wait, what? I thought it was remove a card. <laughs> uh, every time I don't go, it now really just feels like a kick in my own face because it's like, you should go if you enjoy watching this thing so much. And not just to go to go, of course. I would go to, as I said before, volunteer. Can't get the kill. Just take a little damage. Because, uh, you know, if I'm going to go, I may as well do something that buffs up my skills for the future, you know. But damn, every time I watch it, it comes to an end, I kind of just get like this bitter feeling in my stomach, like, oh, I should have went. You know what? In the near future, definitely something we can put on the horizon. I think I'll take a Doom and Gloom. A little AoE in there. Uh, so next event is likely in January, and I, I promised myself for real this time, despite my social anxiety and awkwardness in public against people I may or may not know, I'm gonna go, damn it. <laughs> Can't talk about it forever and then not go. Sometimes you just gotta- holy fuck. You gotta just do it. I'm just gonna toss this potion in here so I don't take that damage. That's some nonsense right there. Ooh, hologram. Yeah. Because I was gonna go this year and that was the plan. It's just that, again, the time I got my PTO uh, scheduled to be uh, off for this, uh, volunteer options already closed. I uh, didn't really want to heckle a stranger on the internet for a ticket. It's like, like, you don't even know me. It's like, hey, you don't even know me, but... uh. Wanna give me your ticket? If you're not going or not, or just asking in the abyssal space of Twitter, because I don't really like exposing myself to that sort of thing. So I didn't go. Uh, all things being said, it's also on me, just because I could have planned a little better, but next, next time. 2019. Winter. I'm gonna go, damn it. Also give myself a chance to get over the social anxiety I feel like I have of talking to strangers, although that's sort of what uh, YouTube and Twitch for me are just a little outlet to do so, as you can tell. Also, playing games in the background sort of blinds that. Yeah, this was a good year. Um, got some donations in. I bought a nice shirt. I bought a very nice GDQ shirt. It's the first time doing so, because these things are a bit pricey. I know, a whole $12. Give me, like, sweet. Which shipping, so it comes out to be about 15 But damn, they are nice shirts. Hey, fuck off, curse. They're very nice shirts, and I, I think at the time this goes up, which is going to be... Saturday night, depending on where you live. You might have a chance to snag one for yourself if you're truly interested. Um, if you're not interested in anything at all, I guess not, but... They're cool looking shirts, they're one of a kind unique, so you can only get them the year of, so... Definitely adds a little bit of that uh, collector's value, I'd say, on top of it. So we're gonna pop you, and we're gonna pop you, and that's a good little go there. Uh, some of my favorite runs, one of the ones I saw today, which was the incentive that got met at the end of the marathon. Mario Odyssey. Don't own a Switch. I own a, a GameCube um, and a controller and uh, the wires for it. It took a while for some of my friends to get those together for me. Um, don't really have any games for it or means to like play games on it. So I have a GameCube, but a Switch definitely is uh, something I look to be uh, interested in getting just because there's a lot of quality games on there. Well, you know, I'll start off with the GameCube first, see where we can go from there. Ooh. I can't kill this guy no matter what I do, so we'll hit him. Doom and gloom him. And then we'll finish her in. No, we can't kill him. 
man. You can still tell I'm like uh, on a vacation brain here. It's not really on a vacation brain. This is just my normal brain. But you can still tell I'm uh, not thinking too hard as per the usual with me. I can't get a perfect, can I? 17. I mean, 19. Nah, you can't. Unless... We totally can. Still shooting for a score here, but again, I'm doing the daily just sort of like vent and or vlog, I guess is the way to think about it here. Of how it's been. But yeah, ultimately I'm sad you to keep coming to an end as I always am. There's always this feeling of like, oh man, it's over now. Just like this perfect. It's over. We're still gonna beat this guy. It's just, that sucks. Uh, but also again, because, you know, vacation coming to an end. But next time we're going. Alright, instead of repeating myself, let's continue thinking about what else there was to talk about here. Ooh. Don't think it's good, but I do want to get some cards stacked up here. Ah. Top quality runs Odyssey was easily one of the best on there, and it was a nice little added incentive. I do like Medkit. Do you like Singing Bowl for the uh, HP up for the max HP? Yeah. Let's go with one of those. We'll get one of these. Give me uh, give me none of this, I guess. We won't use Smoke Bomb on a daily. And yeah, try and perfect the boss. Uh, some of the Resident Evil stuff early in the week, definitely great. I have to really should have the list up on my screen if I'm going to talk about it. Give me a Malize. You know what? Go ahead and upgrade that Malize, because that's going to do some good wonders here against the Hexabud. It's Twin Strike Guy. Am I... Am I okay? Don't answer that. I already know the answer to that one. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Hold the phone. Let me get that... Uh, oop. Make sure the stream is actually muted. You know, let's just close out because we're done watching, really. And we'll keep playing, I promise, but I'll have it in the background when I think of the point. Um, am I going to get hit here? The answer is no, because I'm going to gimmick this guy pretty hard right now. Am I? Yeah, I am. Okay, got him switch. Well, he's switching here. Uh, early on, Banjo Kazooie, Spyro the Dragon, two great ones. I know, I just like instantly looked at that as quick as I could to get that piece in there. Some of my favorite games as a kid. Not Spyro so much, because I kind of think Spyro is a baby's game, and I make that point in some of my co-workers, and they heckle me for it. Uh, the opinion still stands, of course. It's just, I understand why it's a good game. Just probably not my game. And if you like Spyro, hey, don't let me knock you for liking Spyro. What else happened? There's Warcraft 3 Doom 2016, Resident Evil 4, all good first day games. I've seen Doom about a billion times now, so that effect's sort of worn off. We've already been hit anyway, so let's just... Oh! Click off the screen. Get some damage in there. Well, those were good. And you know, if I really want to do this, I should just take this window and put it on the other screen. But that's where the... That's where the obs is. My obs is on that screen. Alright, hang on. We'll make this work. It's gonna be a little jarring. The sound's gonna cut out. Alright. That's good. And I'll be talking more directly in the mic in this direction. A nice little change of pace there. Yeah. A little extra burn damage in on that one. Um, Ghosts and Goblins is cool. There's a lot of stuff that it came on at like butt o'clock at night that I told myself I'd stay awake to watch, but saying and doing are both two vastly different things. Uh, for me at least. Ooh, are we in like the danger zone? Kind of are. I'm playing pretty badly here, but a little to be expected given the uh, topic at hand here. Because I'm really focused on talking about the GDQ here. The Sky F5, which is an RPG, that was interesting to watch. A game I actually intend on playing at some point in time myself. Not so much as a speedrun to really enjoy, but it was pretty good. Games can be broken is what I've learned at the end of the day there. Give me a, a Reaper. An Energy Relic. The birdcage, and nah, it's not going to fit the daily that well. Give me the uh, curse key, if you don't mind. Do not mind a curse key. Ugh. Beam Lord. Okay. Two elites here. Two fireplaces on the way. A shop on the road. Let's go. Oh, don't think I forgot about this guy. Still forever, we'll hate this abysmal... Abysmal fight in the game. We have a super Malai, so he's not going to be doing jacked me here. It'll come pretty close, but we're good on that front. And you may as well get a full block in the weak in there. That's a strong attack. Hey, stop with the debuffs, jerk. Uh, there's a bunch of Mega Man as usual. Mega Man uh, 
I know I sound like a complete downer when I say, eh, when I'm about to talk about one of the games that are there. It's just, yeah, not truly my cup of tea. Also, this guy's not dead. Not truly my best work here. It's 19 damage for free. He's dead. Although I did watch a few of them. Very good. Um, don't want either of these, so give me some max HP. I'm just scrolling through to see if there's anything really catching for me. Simpson hit and run. So that's actually one I was told by many people I need to go back and watch of how good it was. Not because the run was insanely game-breaking or things along that line or that nature, I should say. It's just a fun run, and that is definitely a game. Uh, I played a little bit as a child. Did that strength down not do anything? Am I crazy? Am I crazy and is this going to be a bad video? Probably. Okay, 13 to both. Pop this guy, which we absolutely will. Take a look at the 9. Ugh. Oh, but Simpson and Run definitely is something I need to rewatch. Was told it was a great, great old time. And we're, we're just scrolling through the list here. Uh, oh, Sonic Block. Mm. Not a fan of Sonic in like the slightest, but man, those runs are always one to draw at you. Sort of a concept of those ones is they sort of a. Uh, I like charge battery. I'll take it. It's sort of a, for most of them, they glitch through the games by zipping, so they like, I don't know, you're gonna ask a guy who doesn't speedrun to explain this to you. Let me do some math here. I'll take the card. They essentially like spin ball into a corner, and then they like warp through the thing, uh, the ground, zip through the world, like out of bounds, and just, it scrolls by so fast it would give you nausea in most cases, and then they get to the end of the level, and it's great. Heavy Blade, yeah, let's upgrade that. It's gonna be a good one-timer. And we're going this way for the, uh, double boss fight. Hmm. Armaments will be a nice little snack to get for later. Do people still say that? Do people still call things or call people snacks? Insanely weird, but hilarious if they do. Although I'm totally for it. Let's actually go against the, the big guy here and we'll normalize this guy. Just so we can crack his egg down a little bit quicker. We probably should have uh, went all out on him if that was the plan initially, but didn't turn out as it planned. Ooh, go a hologram into a heavy blade. Gets five times the damage. I think that's enough to one-shot him. Wait, 29 is exactly the same as where it was before. What am I actually doing with my life? Mm -mm. That's okay. Uh, there we go. He should get the kill in a second here. Uh, hmm. Okay, maybe I'm looking too hard into my list right now. I need to focus in on what's going on in the game here. I can heal for a bit here. I think that's not a bad idea, given these blocks are worthless. Please, don't let me die to this guy. Because that'll make for an embarrassing return to recording. Yeah, we'll even pop the drinking potion here, just to squeeze out a little extra damage. Oh my lord. Okay, he's dead, but it was my HP. Second Essence of Steel will probably help us out. Another hologram. Yeah, I wanted to upgrade something, but we got a rest here. Come on, game. This is supposed to be my little uh, monologue here about my vacation. Ooh. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Start off the fight. Sorry, I was getting into what the topic was, but now I'm a little sidetracked. 4 a 12 that's good. Do 19 also made it like made a terrible deck along the way so you know you may say it's like hey does this game really require a lot of like attention or focus to it to really do well eh, maybe probably probably takes just a little bit of patience on the way but uh again it's always harder to fly by the seat of your pants and do commentary and talk about something that's not purely just the game um especially when you have like one of your most extended vacations in a long long time from work and pretty much anything. Like I said, when I uh, left to I mean, essentially sit at home and do nothing, which is what really is what really happened here. Twenty. Okay, we're gonna drink these so we stay alive, and we're just gonna power through. This is going terribly wrong. Uh, which is essentially what happened, which means I'm infinitely worse at any game I thought I could play at a decent level, which is where we're at right now. Upgrade. Hologram to not get exhausted because that'll be useful for later. The armaments, upgrade, a defend. 
for later. Should have actually just upgraded a strike. Oh man, I'm all over the place. All right, let's focus in here. We'll finish this fight and we'll talk about uh, GDQ some more here. Yeah, it's just on the block. And then you go, go for the eyes. Good get. Heavy blade, that's good. That's not enough to get the kill, so we will not do it. We will instead block for our very lives. Jesus. So that is enough to get the kill. Alright, uh, back to what I was talking about here. Mm. Ooh, those are good upgrades to get. And mind you, if you're not aware, or you think I'm not aware, this video is going pretty rough so far. No, you're absolutely right, because I'm I was gonna fight that elite there, but we're just gonna rush to two more fireplaces, preserve my sanity and my life. As I talk about other things, I don't even know what my point was on anymore. I was talking about Mega Man last, the uh, some runs that happened. And, like most of the runs I wanted to watch did happen in like but o'clock at night. And it was a goal. I'm like, hey, I'll stay awake and uh, watch this. You know, I'll eventually just get tired, I get bored of sitting there just watching. I'm like, eh. Pass out for a minute here, don't mind me. Wake back up, it's like, oh, it's like 9 or 6 a.m. It's like, ugh, I missed, I missed everything, didn't I? But yes, sir, you absolutely did miss everything. It's like, dang. Right. And that surprisingly happened to a lot of, like, uh, daytime runs as well, which was truly, truly devastating in my eyes. Because uh, there was a lot of good stuff that I wanted to watch in the morning at, like, 8 or 9. And I would actually wake up, I'd see it on the screen, I'm like, all right, cool, I'll just get cozy in bed here and watch it for a minute. And then immediately, like, pass out once again. It's like, oh, guess I won't watch it for a minute. Hey, we're going to kill this guy in the back. Because, uh, mad scary doing flat 16 damage. This guy's going to be doing multi-attacks, but the strength is down, so he's not as scary. That's pretty good. Crack into him with that. Yeah. I'm just scrolling through the list as I play here. Oh, Monkey Ball. A game my friends truly love, and it's a game I hate with, like, a burning passion, because I just don't understand <laughs> how you control this character in the Monkey Ball world. I know you move the whole world with Monkey Ball, but Jesus Christ. Playing that game with friends, like, tilts me off the face of the earth. In part because I'm, like, really bad at it. And that's not to say any game I play I'm not good at, I don't want to play, because then I wouldn't play Slight Spire. <laughs> uh, but, um, just really confusing. Although the speedrun, pretty good. Hey, hit the strike. Pretty good. That's a game I like watching people go fast in, and it's also not really too glitch heavy outside of the hole. It's not even a glitch, like, they, they throw themselves out of bounds and, like, rebound back inbounds. In my eyes, that's pretty cool. High degree of skill to do something like that. Choke? Can I make a choke work? It's upgraded. Might not hurt. Eh. Say no. You don't really have a deck for it. Didn't you get in that max HP? Dark Souls. Uh, speaking of Dark Souls, that's actually one of the runs that was canned from this uh, GDQ. Not because of, uh, you know, controversial reasons. Just because uh, I think the runner had to pull out of the event due to some personal issues. Which is unfortunate, because I was looking forward to watching the Dark Souls run. Game near and dear to my heart. Hey, what the fuck? I guess we'll just go for you then. Yeah, and he's gonna try and block him, so that's not gonna do anything. So we'll get a nice little double heal here. Go for the eyes. Hologram. Bring back. Go for the eyes, and then we'll hit him with the 33. Yeah. What else was on? There's like a lot of Doom clones, which. Or I probably shouldn't say Doom clones, because maybe I'm talking on my ass here. But there's a lot of, like, Doom clone-esque games, I should say. Sha like a Shadow Warrior game, which I get is actually its own little series here, but... Uh, not a really big fan of those. I watched a little bit of the, the run, though. It's pretty good. The dude was going fast, clipping through walls in certain parts. Doing the speedrun stuff. Hey. Exit size 26. I don't think this is going to be great, but we do have... Two holograms? Yeah, let's let's go ahead and try it. What's a daily run if not to have a little bit of fun? And 75 gold to remove a card? Oh. Absolutely. I was like, is there anything I'd want to get rid of this deck? Yeah, decay. Get that garbage out of here, and I'm still gonna rest. Sad, sad day, because I want to be able to buff up some of my cards. Not happening right now. 
You know, you may as well super mobilize here, get rid of some of those debuffs so you can at least get a weakness in later. I think that's the smart way to go about it. Not saying it is, but time will definitely tell here in a second. That's good damage to everyone. A good bit of healing. And the flame berry preserves quite a bit of my life. And it'll do 8 damage back, but I think actually getting the debuff down a little bit further is going to be more worthwhile. And you can keep that. I don't care about that card. Eh, I kind of care about that one right now. I need that. What the fuck? I need the uh, AoE, is what I was going to say here, but... I don't know. I guess I'll just draw all my blocks here. One block too many. Ooh. Weaken that. Yeah. Upgrade Heavy Blade to just do a little bit more damage. And we can pop this guy back here, get Doom and Gloom back on the table, but that's that's a lot of ouch coming in here. Not going to be a good daily score. Not in the slightest. May as well bring this back, get a little extra damage on him. Okay, what else we got here on the list that was great? I didn't get to see Titan Souls as a shame. Didn't get to see this Legend of Zelda race, which is a classic speedrun. Which is also a huge shame. Ooh. I'm not dead, but I'm pretty damn close. I think I'm alive by like one. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely not the best run to go about my daily with. Uh, hey. Yeah, that's good. That'll give me enough block. 24. 24. We fish back claw, hit him with that. And we got a block, yeah, because it was just under. Oh boy. We are in trouble, everyone. Could have got Gloom and Doom out earlier, I would have this rampant for now. Please! Don't kill me, he's gonna kill me. Okay, well, this run was actually a huge disaster, but that's okay. Because we're not done chatting yet. I'm not really one to can my runs unless it's like either truly like a personal disaster on audio side or something. 76? Oh, they just like rolled over, so. Wait, 76 with a 237? I need to check back on this score tomorrow. Because this seems like it could be a downer one. We'll do a... What? Did I miss something? Custom mode. Oh my god. What the hell? I thought this was a uh, endless mode. Okay, this is new. Can I just select everything? Oh my lord. Sure, why not? Let's go crazy here. I mean, this is just for fun right now anyway, because I am just chatting about my day. And you know, there's like a billion things to talk about the runs, but actually just run through the VODs yourself. I <laughs> know, I mean, sound like a real ass when I say that. I don't mean to say it like a, a jerk. Excuse me? Do I want shiny or do I want, uh, insanity? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Let's do insanity and we'll do a we'll do another silent run just because it's my weakest character. So overall, I, I mean, closing points on my vacation. I, I hate the fact that vacation actually has to end and I dread the fact of having to go back to work to potentially a disaster. Not saying it is going to be disaster, although it is something that was constantly on my mind thinking about going back to work just just because uh scared to see the state my desk is in i trust my co-workers kept in a good spot it's just it's always the anxiety of like hey you know that thing you did before you left vacation well it came back to bite us in the ass here's the problem it's like ooh, really well fuck welcome back so i'm hoping it's not gonna happen i can only hope though one can hope one can dream uh, so this deck right now is actually going to be a little ridiculous, is the right way to say it. I got 98 cards and like a billion modifiers. This might have been a mistake, but I, I think I'm just going to... I have 1 HP. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do I have 1 HP? Um...
Interesting. Well, this fails as well. We'll just uh, talk about something else as well. Um, but yeah, pretty much I'm sort of bummed that my vacation is coming to an end. It's just... It's a part of growing up, I guess. You know, air quote, I guess, because I am an adult. You know, hold up spork, I guess, is if you want to throw it in that vein. But... Damn, I just like sitting at home doing nothing. But it just also, you know, looking at all these people uh, doing... Like, this charity marathon for a big one. <laughs> or for a big example, I should say. Definitely makes me look at myself and like, you know, maybe it's also the fact that I was sitting in my house, like literally my room and like a few rooms around here and occasionally leaving for food that made me go stir crazy in its own way. Where I'm just sitting here thinking like, man, could I definitely be doing something more with my life, my current job, etc. Don't click that. And so forth. It's like, you know, maybe I could. And this is not, again, not a jab in my job in any way or that'll kill me. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, I need to just think a bit here. Because I'm quite scared of dying on this run that has no merit or value just because it's like sort of a meme run here. But um, definitely got me thinking, it's like, could I be doing something more with my value or not? It's like, you know, it's, yeah, it's sort of like pseudo looking up into the stars at stardom sort of situation because it's like, you know, you're not these people and you, you know, these people are in a very, a lot of them are in like a very specific situation to be in a point in life where they can do things like this for a for basically for their job and it's not to say it's like I'm am I dead am I am prob nope ray form whoo ray form coming in clutch oh I have armor I wasn't dead to begin with but, you know, just looking at these people and maybe it's just me like oh man these people are having a good time and here I am at home when I could have been there myself it's like yeah you could have been there yourself you should have you didn't go because of yourself. It's like, man, you're right, me. I should have went. Which is also why it's like more of the motivation to actually go next time. Just so I can get out there and get involved in an industry like I've mentioned before. I do want to get involved in. I know, I'm going on like a huge spiel and ramble here. And it's been a thought that's been on my mind to discuss it in a video. Just because I usually like talking about other things outside of the game here. Oh, Rune of the is going to be excellent for this run. Yeah, it's just something that's definitely got me thinking. I'm like, you know what? If, if this is something you want to do, you should just go and do it, right? Just just do it, like Shia LaBeouf says, right? There's definitely like a part of me that's like, man, I want to... I don't want like a new life, but I definitely want to take steps to change my current life. Just because the degree I got in what I'm doing right now isn't the ultimate end goal for me. Okay, let's do some math here. Kill you. And hit you because you'll kill yourself. Again, it's not a jab at my job because my job is great. The fact that it gives me enough benefits where I can actually uh, go out to an event like this, like worry free or without like having to, you know, pay an arm and leg industry wise for it from my company is it's great. But uh, what I do is definitely not what I intend to do for the rest of my living life. And if I do, again, as I mentioned before, it's like uh, if that's how it is, that's how it is. You got to roll with the punches that you're given the the hand you're dealt sometimes, but. You can definitely get out there and change something about that. Maybe you should, right? You never know until you try. All right, we are going to calculate a gamble here and hope for something nice. This is absolutely something I was hoping for. It's good. Yeah, and that's definitely a thought that's going to be on my, my head for like the next coming weeks here as I sort of get back in the routine because things I do enjoy doing are my my freaking recordings here right I, I do enjoy doing these recordings for fun i do enjoy doing my streams playing the games that i bought during the steam summer sale which was spent a little over a hundred dollars like actually a hundred and one cents <laughs> and again that's a drop in the pond for me because i am pretty frugal on how i spend money even though i have like more than enough in savings to do so it's like eh, i could spend a lot of money on this or i could like save it for an emergency it's like oh man aren't you fun to be at parties it's like yeah that's me I'll be a fun dad one day, although that's a thought again. Don't want to think on that one too hard, because that gives me massive anxiety. To the ends which you will never know, because ugh. Children. Don't hate children, it's just, man. Probably not a good route for me, if I had to be honest. Okay, we're not dead. I was just making sure I was doing my math right there. Intense quick math. 
Ooh, we might be dead here if we don't get something nice. Barricade is huge. Should have played this first. So we'll drink it and we'll drink this as well. That's perfect. That's exactly what we needed. But yeah. Anything, and this happens anytime I get a vacation. I get like sort of like, you know, pseudo sad because I'm sitting at home like, man, I should be doing something with my life. Or something along those lines. It's like, uh. It's more, there's more to that than meets the eye, really. It's like, it's not you should be doing something with your life. It's like, you could be, but everyone's situation is different. Like, hell, even getting to the point where I could record videos on the internet for fun took the entirety of my uh, college career and saving up a fair penny just to get the equipment to do so. Definitely a big piece there. I think I want to wraith one, yeah. And then we want to crack the egg? Crack the egg. Definitely a good idea. I don't know where I was going with my bender again. This seems to happen a lot when I get on these spiels, although it's not really a spiel this time. It's literally just me saying how I feel on a matter right now. This is not also not like a, a cry for help or a cry of like, when I have to be an adult and go back to work. Although in some ways it absolutely is. Because in that regard, I am a child. Wants to sit at home and play video games. Very good combo of cards right there. But definitely uh, I do want to get involved in a bigger industry than what I currently am in. It's, it's a dream. It's a goal. Definitely should always chase your goals and dreams. But that's, that's sort of that. Like, you know. Again, yeah, that's sort of the big piece there. Uh, get... So this is going to be hilarious because we get three copies of each. So I'll get rid of cards I don't think are going to work out. Namely these ones. And maybe like something that I don't think is that good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, I have three pains. What gives? Oh, every... Oh, my lord. Don't give me any bad curses, if you don't mind. Hmm, that'll be interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Big goals. I'm going to go next time. I'm going to volunteer. I'm going to branch out. I'm going to be a social member of society. I'm going to die here. There's a chant. I had, I had pain in my hand. Ooh, okay. Let's try that one more time without, like, the devastating debuff. Just because I want to have a fun run here. Like I said, we're going to get preachy here. We'll do an ironclad run as well. Okay. But first off, give me just all the good... Right, all the good. And, you know we'll lose shiny this time. It's like the bad, the bad. None of the bad's really terrible. It's just I don't want. I just want to chill, get back in the routine here. Call it a day. Give me a flame barrier, and then give me some sword boomer jiggers, claws. Absolutely flexes. Absolutely angers scare me. Streamlines not so much. Prepared. I've learned my lesson. Uh, commenter definitely told me the downside of it. You're absolutely right. Probably should be thinking more before I grab the bear. Glacier's gonna be good. Let's go for like a heavy hitter. Glen Learner deck. Self repair? Could be cool. More of those. Another another sword boomerang's fine. Leg sweeps are good defense. Some more blocks. Leaps are great. Hommel strikes. Alright. Yeah. And apologies, it's a long run. So at this point, like, I might still ramble on some points, but if you wanna cut it there for yourself, you know what? You definitely go right ahead and cut it there. Yeah. Something else I want to talk about, the schedule going forward for this week. It's it's gonna go back to normal, pretty much. Like I have nothing really Oh man, we are broken as hell. And that's exactly what I want. Nothing really um pressing coming up that's gonna stop me from doing what I normally do here on the channel. Hit him with this. I forgot to mute my chat as well. That is a nice little Charmander Perler there, my boy. Let me go ahead and uh, mute that. Oh, that reminds me of some of the prizes they were offering off of this marathon as well. Ooh. Some great prizes I would have absolutely loved to get my hands on. Alright, and I gotta move my phone as well. Alright. Yeah, this week, um, it's, it's going to be a hectic week for me. I will definitely do my best to get things up and according. Like, we're only the daily videos definitely are the plan that are coming back here. And, you know, I'm not looking at the GDQ thing anymore, so this over here so definitely expect to get back into the routine of uh, more daily videos as usual that's not going to change although i'll just say for monday a bit of a caveat uh i'm coming back from vacation so there's a 
highly likely chance I'm going to be staying late. Uh, not a choice I really want to <laughs> stay late on, but there's a high chance I'm going to have to just, just to get things back in order. Uh, and on top of that, I have a, a dentist appointment to get my night guard for my terrible, terrible teeth that I mentioned prior. Um, that same Monday, so it's going to be work probably till like 4, so another hour on top of that potentially. Uh, drive 30 miles to my dental appointment, grab the night guard, come home. I'm going to try and have a video pre-prepared for you there, so that way we don't miss a day. But if we do, please forgive me. As always, your patience is appreciated. Sunder? Yeah, Sunder. And, and some pot. If you know what I mean. <laughs> no, not a marijuana smoker. I think I've made that point. But yeah, um, going to be busy on Monday. So if we need to pre-record a video, apologies in advance. If I miss a video, bigger apologies in advance. Definitely want to get it to you sooner rather than later. Get back in the flow. That's to be expected. As far as the channel goes, yeah. Like, that's that's pretty much it for the channel. Ooh, baby. Did I kill you? Nah, I can't. We'll just uh, block most of that damage. That's that. But other than that, we'll be back in the swing in no time. Getting things back on this channel here, as usual. And apologies if uh, some of you threw some messages at me. I know uh, Grazy threw one about a daily that I missed. I think it was yesterday. Sorry, I, I don't want to make you feel like I ignored your message. I did see it, but uh, I sort of told myself, I'm like, just you're stepping away from everything right now, even the things you enjoy doing, which is kind of foolish. But I uh, just literally stepped away from anything. So I did see your notice about that daily there, Gracie. I just, uh, I ultimately just didn't do it. So apologies there. I hope it was a good one. If you can give me the seed, definitely we'll take, uh, take a look at that daily as well. Yeah. I don't know why we're taking this. It really doesn't matter, but we'll grab it. So that's that. Uh, and of course, get back into the stream stuff. I know some of you might not watch my stream or maybe watch VODs, either or. Uh, streaming is definitely just another fun thing I do. Uh, getting back into the follow is going to be a big thing for me. Mostly just like, you know, play through the DLC, having experience. Doing a, you know, pseudo challenge run, I guess. Not really, because I'm literally playing a melee character. And explosives? Something I've never done before in that game. It's fun. Definitely fun. You can definitely watch that if you want. See if you're a prerogative. Either way, I don't really push or promote anything. It's like, hey, if you want to watch me, uh, if you just type in Zapper Zen, you'll probably find me. Although, don't be fooled by some of the fakes out there. I don't know why there are fake copies of my name in the ether, but there are. There definitely are. Yeah, you can find those uh, if you want. Yeah. Just getting back in the swing of things. Just, oh man, tomorrow's going to be hell. I'm, I'm really anxious about tomorrow, too, because I just wanted to... Go by seamlessly, if possible. I don't really want a billion headaches, although I know as soon as I get back, just something's gonna be on fire. It's never Yeah, I thought I thought it was actually just exclusive to like um my clique organization that I worked with in college. And again, this is not a jab at my friends. But things caught on fire a lot when I was a part of the college organization. And you think that uh, escapes when you're in the industry. Oh no, my friend, it does not. Things are always on fire. It's just the nature of things. Probably in part why I got the job, because I mentioned I was really good at putting out fires. Which is both like a blessing and a curse, although it's just like... <laughs> please no fires. I just want to come back to work on a nice, easy return back. It's like, hey, how was your vacation? It's like, oh, it's good. You just sit at home, Tim? I'm like, yeah, guys, I just sat at home. It's like, okay, that's cool. Although next time, you're going places. This guy is a chump, and we're just gonna like lay into him there. I mean, this is this run is a joke. Maybe most of this video might be a joke as well, but we're having a good time nonetheless. Can I kill you? Can I kill you? I flex on you. We can literally just do a little bit of mat. Oh wait, first card gets played twice. Yeah, we're good. He's super dead. Echo form. Start me off with the Echo Form, if you don't mind. That's a lot of Liquid Bronze as well. This run is crazy, although that's what you get for giving yourself every positive buff in the world. I'm glad, though. I'm really glad they have this uh, in the game now, so I can sort of just screw around and ramble. Of <laughs> the woes of uh, being an industry worker, or a normal adult in the working force. Okay, that's good damage. Ooh, excuse me there. Yeah. Definitely a big thing for me was actually trying to figure out getting back in the jive for this. Wait, first card's played twice, so... 
Just, just do 18 damage. I was definitely concerned, like, hey, am I gonna be able to just jump back seamlessly into my Slate Aspire videos? I mean, it's not really, like, a huge contentious point. It's like, yeah, dude, you just turn on the game and talk in front of your mic. It's like, there's nothing else to do. It's like, do I have stories? Yeah, I mean, I normally have stories. It's just like, it, again, not a big point for me to be thinking so hard on like I did moments before pressing the record button. Again, not a person with extreme anxiety, although I do have a fair bit of it in my normal life. When it comes to like meeting people or talking to people, hell, it's a miracle I have some of the friends I do with how sheltered I feel like I can come off. Maybe you're not alone in that camp, so. If you, uh. Or maybe you're not alone. You aren't alone in that camp if you feel the same way. Because I feel you there. Definitely gonna be hard branching out. But it's gonna be a big goal for me if I go to the GDQ event and volunteer. Just because that's the fear you gotta get over, man. Just do it. Alright, that was a terrible turn, by the way. Like, I misplayed that terribly with my Echo form. This one's gonna be better. What are you gonna do? You're gonna... Flex on him. Leg sweep him. Hit him for... Yeah. It's okay. Alright, maybe I should think about, or talk about, what else is coming up this week for me, uh, as far as social stuff. Friends wanna take a... Or wanna do sushi tomorrow, which... I'm a fan of sushi, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You love my sush. Uh, for one of our, uh, for young bloods, like I call her by that name. I've called her that for years. It's just our thing. For her birthday, it's gonna be a good time, although I'm sort of thinking. Sadly, on bailing. And it's like, even though they watch this video and they see I'm making an excuse, it's kind of pseudo of an excuse, but it's kind of just like, mentally, I need to prepare myself for work. And mentally, I'm just not feeling up to it because I'm a little, I'm a little bummed. I'm always bummed when the GDQ things, or streams, or you know, just just take this. This will be hilarious. You don't have any because you're shiny, you moron. I'm always bummed whenever a vacation comes in and the marathons, just because I don't know. Brain's weird like that sometimes. So they want to they want to do sushi tomorrow sushi in a movie incredibles 2 which ooh, i need i actually that's the biggest pushing point is it's incredibles 2 dude doesn't care how bummed you're feeling it's, it's freaking incredibles 2. last time i saw incredibles was like i was what 12. Ugh. just thinking about that gives me a little bit of the willies because now i you know hashtag i'm old but not really old because come on guy you're not old if any of my coworkers heard me say that, oh boy, I get torn in half for that one. But again, you know, it's like sort of like the weight thing and like the age thing is like, yeah, you know, so and so who's I work with that's maybe in their mid 30s or upper. I don't think you're old. I think that's like a young adult getting ready to start their life. I applaud you, and you've got your life more together than I ever will, probably. Don't don't take offense of me saying I feel old or, uh, you know, insert, you know, I, you know, feel over. You know, don't don't. don't Prey on me for... This is upgrade, right? Yeah. Don't heckle me or give me a hard time for making a comment when it's like, I know you probably... You're, you're older than me. You probably have more things than me. It's like everything I'm saying is completely false. It's just let me have this moment. I beg of you. I beg of you. Whoop. Just a knock there. Notify me that some food is ready. So I know what I'm doing after this one. Back on my spiel here. I get it. I'm not old compared to you, but I'm having my own little moment here. It's not even a midlife crisis. It's like a... I don't even know what you call it for someone who's in their mid-20s. It's just like a... You know, I mean, I guess we're getting correct here with, like, what politics think. I'm just a millennial crying, right? <laughs> and maybe I am, you know what? They're never not at that potential. And maybe I'm just a big crybaby, although... I harp against that. At the same vein, I realized, and this was a point I actually wanted to make on the video here. Anyone ever see Castaway? Starring uh, Tom, Tom Hanks? Tom Cruise? Hang on. This is the segue where uh, I forget who I was going to make a bit on. It's Tom Hanks, aka Chuck Nolan, Castaway. Another movie I saw when I was a young child. And, you know, I actually looked up uh, some points on this topic I'm here, but uh, we're talking about here to validate myself. But uh, when that volleyball floats away, I was a child when I saw this movie. Please forgive me if you think this is childish or hilariously dumb. I fucking cried when Wilson flew away, man. 
just a volleyball. Man, I was sad when Wilson flew away. I'm, I thought I was alone in that camp, so before I went out here and like potentially embarrassed myself on the internet more than I already do, I had to validate myself to make sure I wasn't the only one. And you know what? I wasn't, so you know what? I'm good. No regrets there. If you cried when Wilson flew away on that raft and cast away, I'm right there with you. Although, again, I was like a child, so like... Give me a break. <laughs> Although, I get it. You want to heckle me there. Oh, dude. I get you. I'm just some fucking volleyball you dork. <laughs> I don't know why that was a point I wanted to talk about, but it's something that did come to my mind. First card gets played twice, so I keep that in mind. Me? Yeah, maybe I'm crying millennial over everything here, being bummed out that my vacation's ending. Although, there's probably many adults out there that are in the same boat when their vacation comes to them, and they're just like... Oh, dude, I don't want to go back to work. It's like, hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Although, in the same vein, it's like... Can't wait to go back to work and then potentially get, like, chewed out by strangers over the phone that I don't know. It's like, yeah, well... You kind of knew what you signed up for. It's like, yeah, I, I kind of did, so... And again, it's usually not that bad. Again, I have a great time chatting with some of my clientele. It really just depends on the person and if they're a good person or not. Is what it ultimately comes down to for those, but hey, if it happens, gotta roll with the punches. And if we're on a point of me being a giant crybaby, yeah, there's a one phone call. Uh, individual actually broke me down to tears because he was just being like, hey, first card you play is a uh, play twice. Just keep that thought in mind as we design this rhyme to explain in due time. Rip and tear. Hey, it's Doom. Was I going somewhere with that bit? Probably. Actually, I want to do Riddle with Holes. Just because I don't think we have a, a strike-heavy deck. And I, I just love multi-attacks. They fill me with a great feeling of joy and fulfillment. And we're just going for a billion relics, so why not? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, someone made me cry on the phones? Yeah, you know. Been there, done that. Just another day in the life of customer service. Just remember, though, if, you, if you're one of those people out there that uh, torments whomever... You're getting customer service from. You can be the change you want to be. And I expect most people that watch YouTube videos aren't the people that are being like giant assholes over phones or like in customer service. So it's this isn't towards you. But if you're in that field that you, that's what you deal with, hey man, I feel you. Or girl. I feel you strongly there. As we ramble on through this insanely broken Slay the Spire run here. Oh right. Speaking of insanely broken mods. It's another topic I guess we should bring on. Um... The mods are still coming, I just need to do it. And with the, the pseudo-funk I'm in, again, not trying to make excuses, although I just heard my piece on how I do make excuses, maybe I am. We will get to mods, I promise you that. What a useless skill. You couldn't have given me something good. That's, that's just garbage, dude. Ooh, that hurts. Okay. I think you leap, and then you streamline this guy. You always go for this guy. It doesn't matter what the case is. Uh, mods, definitely want to try them out. Uh, definitely want to expand um, some of the options we have here. Stuff we show on the channel is for certain, because... I will be playing Slay the Spire until the end of times. So I pretty much like declared that for myself, and there's nothing that will change my opinion on that. That's 15 damage twice. Go ahead and give me a double demon, single demon form, mind you. Ooh, that's a good hit. May as well uh, throw this on last. Yeah, excellent. We'll be slaying Slay the Spire till pretty much the end of time, because the amount of love I feel for this game is oddly endless, much like the game itself. Yeah, I'll get Jax, why not? But, um, I do intend on mixing it up at some point. How, when, I don't know. I just intend on mixing it up at some point. See that new videos or new game stuff on the channel. I'm trying to mix it in because again, like my time is at a premium when it comes to uploading anything or doing anything. Because part of the stuff of like, hey, you know, I want to get involved in doing all this stuff for fun, sort of takes away from, hey, I want to watch these streams. Because at the end of the day, I'm just like a stream monster, and I love watching streams in a lot of ways more than doing them myself. Both are insanely fun, but it's like if I have the option. <laughs> There's nothing to upgrade in your deck, you fool. I'm likely gonna watch, but... If I don't stream, I'm also not gonna... Oh my lord. Give me some more of those and we'll call it a day. 
I do definitely enjoy uh, watching a lot more content out there. And when you're making YouTube videos and you're streaming on a sort of, you know, rigorous schedule, again, only because I want to. It's not like there's a super end goal at the end of the day. It's like, hey, I'm doing it because it's fun. Gotta lift. Time's definitely at a premium. And if my friends ever want to play games or hang out, which, that's a dice roll. Although, again, you know, you turn the looking glass inwards. I'm part of that problem. Absolutely true. Although it's sometimes a little preordained warning. Doesn't hurt. Uh, time's definitely at a crunch, so trying to squeeze in more stuff every single day on the uh, channel will be a very difficult challenge. I'm just going to block twice. I don't care what any of these guys have to say. I'm just going to block twice. Let's see if we can get anything for zero. Hey. So he's dead, because we have uh, super damage coming in. Uh, what was my point here? Oh yeah, time. Uh, so I'll give you a little insight on how long it takes me to make a Slay the Spire video, which it, it doesn't take that long at all, in all honesty, but it takes roughly an hour for me. About an hour. And that's a, a fair number to give. Mostly because recording it's like, you know, somewhere in the area of 30 to 45-ish minutes, unless we have one of those days where I just don't stop playing and I continue to lose and then... You know, it goes from there. So it's about an hour there. I get home at around 3 o'clock-ish on average. Is this a good deal? Yeah, it's a good deal. Oh, that's great. I mean, we're, we're just going to steamroll pretty much. That's what I'm expecting here. So it's about an hour there. I get home at 3, so we're looking at like... I do that somewhere in between of a... Uh, shit, I don't know. Just, uh, give me the Black Star. It's the least damaging out of all those. So we're gonna be in the time, uh, between that time. Uh, when I get home, I stream like watching the Northern Lion Life Super Show. I think many of you, or some of you, you might be familiar with the... Huh, that makes a noise. Some of you might be familiar with that, and if not, easily probably like my favorite little piece of, uh, entertainment on Twitch these days. Here's where, like, the comedy and the, uh, you know, pseudo background noise, which is what a lot of like YouTube videos or streams are for me anyway, right? Maybe some of you can relate to that. Um, so I do try to make it a point to watch a good amount of that if I can, because I just I love watching it. Again, pretty pretty funny, all things considered. I mean, where else can you get into a heated topic over like who's come taste better for some awful reason. I, think, I remember that was one of the bits they did in the show. So that, that goes on for like three hours, although in between, there's a, usually a point on those. Yeah, give me those. Streams where there's like a segment I don't like, that's when I do the recording. And immediately after that, pretty much immediately after that, I get the recording up, I do a stream on Mondays and Wednesdays, right? And that goes to like nine or 10-ish. And then again, all, all of this is like me on me, ultimately. I'm just sort of giving you the breakdown little insider baseball, I guess. What that looks like. Uh, so that pretty much plans out most of the day. So trying to figure out where I can squeeze in some more uh, videos here or something new. Because I definitely want to. Like, don't be fooled. Definitely want to get some... Uh... Give me claw, I guess. Like, give me something that will give me energy. None of this will give me energy, so... Just give me a claw. Leap. Echo form, you gotta. Flame barrier, you gotta. And claw. So you you do all that back to back to back, and then it's like most of your time is chewed up, and then of course, you know, I'm working most of the day, so there goes a lot of free time there. Although that that one's probably a given. Ooh, this is gonna be a, just an instant kill. That already isn't. Excellent. So I'm trying to think, like, if I were to uh, do additional anything on the channel, additional videos that aren't just a daily Slay of Spire or two, like, what would the pacing be? Like, how often would I do it? You know, will it really mix up with the jive with people who want to watch this versus that? Like, that latter is really not a big issue just because you watch what you want to watch is what I think. My honest opinion there. And if you don't want to watch Slay the Spire and you don't want to watch either of that, then you know what? That's fine. I get it. You should watch things you enjoy. But I'm just trying to think, like, how to jive it all together. Make it either consistent enough that... You know, it's a like, nice little mainstay. If it's temporary, when do I end it? Like, I don't know, dude. I'm just sort of doing all on a whim here. Flying by the seat of my pants, if you will. But we can... Yeah, we can kill this guy. That comes in. But there are definitely games I want to try out on my YouTube here, just to record. And most of them are roguelikes, hence the little banner at the top that says uh, roguelites and more, which, again, 
big jokes that my friends give me is it's slay the spire and slay the spire, which is kind of true because it's it's been like a solid six-ish months of doing it now, which is a nice little milestone there. But yeah, stuff to mix it up. So big one, Wizard of Legend. Um, I've seen a, a lot of gameplay from YouTube videos on this one. Uh, as far as a game goes. Oh, you gotta... Yeah. And then you charge your battery. Wizard of Legend is a big one. Uh, a little action-packed uh, roguelite. You play Wizard, there's a bunch of spells. I hear it's like imbalanced as all hell. Uh, but balance really isn't a big concern when my main game is Slay the Spire. This one's plenty balanced enough for me as is. So, something I want to look into there is some of that. Yeah, just Dustin. Uh, so do that on a pseudo frequent basis. Uh, I don't know how frequent that would be. It's definitely like that, not saying it is what's happening, but it's one I want to definitely give a shot because that game looks mad fun from a lot of the gameplay I've seen on it. And also, it sort of feed to the whole roguelites and war theme of the channel, which again, <laughs> it's just slay this fire. I love slay this fire, damn it! I'll never. I love the slay this fire. It's so bad. Hourglove Arts, anyone? Anyone see the uh, wizard curling up? I haven't. I only saw it on like a reference from a, another YouTube video I saw long ago. But hey, reference nonetheless. Do we need a. Unfortunately, couldn't pop anyone, but that's kind of good because they're all really low HP for me to finish off here. So, yeah, Wizard Legend. Definitely one I want to give a shot. Pretty much any roguelike that's in a nice little short vein like that, definitely a nice contender for me. This is a matter of time, it really is. Uh, what else? I got a lot of stuff from the Steam sale, and there's, most of the stuff is stuff I want to stream. A lot of RPGs and what have you. Um, who is my boss fight, first off? Even though this upgrade is pretty minor, yeah, just give me like a... A dagger spray upgrade, I guess. Yeah. You know what? Again, this video is going to be going on for a bit of a ramble anyway, so let's see. What do I got here? Just like a lot of RPGs, uh, platformers. Oh, Pat in Time is definitely one I want to get to streaming. I have a fair bit of rogue. Again, I got Binding of Isaac, but uh, there's plenty of Binding of Isaac stuff out there for you to watch in the world, so don't need me clogging the pipes with more of that. Uh, Road to Death Row Canada? I bought that a while ago. It's one I was actually going to sort of do a big put forward on the channel here for it was going to be that game, but um, when I saw Slay the Spire, I'm like, yo, I can play this forever. Just from like a little bit I saw of it, I'm like, I can play this infinitely. Yes, give me. And so I did. So I did. Can I play all my damage cards? I absolutely can. It's going to be highly unnecessary because of pen nib, but you know. The Road to Death Row Canada, definitely a big one. I thought about doing some, like, non-roguelite series on here, but again, like, the whole vein of YouTube is, like, short bursts, like, you don't really need to have a continuum, you don't need to keep up. It's like, hey, you miss one one day, not the end of the world. You can watch it later, you can just not watch it at all. You're not missing out. Oh, gotta get jacked, dude. And I'm just gonna eat a bunch of damage early on, I think that's fine. If the price is getting jacked, then you know what, jack me up, baby. And we'll put that in our pocket for later. Maybe even this. Nah, put this, because we'll use it later. Uh, and you gotta go for Donut first, as usual. Yeah, there's two big ones. Uh, Bro Force? I'm thinking that's one I could do there, but... Yeah. And this is not me trying to like brag about my Steam library. Again, it's been a long time coming to get into this point at all. Nice little pride point for me that I... Own more games than I'll ever play, which I guess is sort of like the Steam curse, or like really what Steam ultimately ends up being for a lot of people. It's like, hey, look at all these games I got on sale. How many of them have you played? Oh, well, you know, like none of them. <laughs> Why not? I mean, take a look. I got Slay the Spire, dude. Why would I play anything else? Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to see through what, what roguelites I got on here. I was tempted to get into the Breach, although I don't know if that was my kind of game to begin with. But, yeah. And then uh, Liquid Bronze, Creative AI, why not? But why is it giving me, like, celebration music? That's the end, right? Or it should be. Don't even want a smith, so go ahead. Oh. It is endless mode. What the hell? Uh. 
Interesting. I was sort of hoping to just end it there. I guess we'll go to the end of this floor, see what's really different, because otherwise we'll be here for legitimately forever. And I think this one's already stretching a bit on. Yeah. But I, in all honesty, actually, that that's sort of the whole piece there for me. I've said my piece on everything. Vacation was great. Sad is coming to an end. What have you, yada yada. Um, yeah. Let's look forward to more Slay the Spire in the future is what I can probably promise you, because it'll be here. It's never not going to be here. God, and I, I gotta actually close out my Steam library now, because now I look on it with shame. Even though it's, you know, it's your hobby, you should not be ashamed of the money you spent on things you like that are your hobbies. I firmly believe and support an idea. Although, again, I have, like, buyer's guilt when I buy anything nice for myself. Like I said, I spent $100 on this stuff. Ugh. I'm just making it to the boss right now. See if anything's changed here. And a big apologies if you're not a fan of the Ramley video. We'll get back to the normal formula. I promise you. Uh, okay. Really hoping for a one costy there, but that's all right. And I guess they just get harder and harder as things go on here. So I, I would like to say I'd throw this on here for like ad infinitum until I'm done and then upload the video. But I will, I will not subject you or my computer to rendering something so long. That seems just a tad bit silly. Oh lord, this is going to be good. He's just dead. He's just ultra dead. I don't think there's an amount of buffs that could stop me from getting killed here. What the hell is this? Face Trader? Huh? Is this is this exclusive to the Endless Mode or is this a, a new Floor 1 event? Obviously you gotta trade. Cool. Um... Nice little uh, face there we got. It's pretty cool. Boss chest is empty, but I guess it doesn't matter since we were going to end it anyway. Hmm. Cheap record form? No, but we have eight energy, so... Ultimately, this doesn't matter. Yeah. Riddle with holes. All for one. Riddle with holes. You're dead next turn. And yeah, let me just like throw a boomerang at him. He's dead. Fun stuff. Nope. Well, this is giving me a nice little appreciation for endless mode, definitely. I can see how you can uh, have quite a bit of fun with this mode where you can just play forever. If I got bird face turn on this one though, ooh. We would actually be going for a while, just because I think bird face turn is probably the most broken trinket in the game. Uh, I mean adrenaline. Only had the hope of getting a zero cost card, and we did not play Echo Form, but at this point, if there's any gameplay to be had, it's, <laughs> it's out the window. Gameplay's from the stories and the friends we made along the way. Does people still use that meme? Yeah. What's inside? It's nothing. But I think I have every trinket on the screen already. I don't know how many trinkets are in the game, but I think this is all of them. I'm fairly certain this is actually just every trinket. Uh, you may as well play a thousand cuts, right? Secret weapon. Go ahead and give me a zero cost. To... Yeah, give me a claw. More finesse. Claw you for the kill. Hit you. Get my claw back, and then. Alright. Cool upgrades, yeah. I mean, we're, we're just breezing through at this point. We're going to the end. We'll wrap it up here shortly. So thank you for hanging around. If you've stuck through the entire video, listen to me ramble on probably like 1.25 or 1.5 speed. That's what I do for a lot of my videos I watch just because... Man, people are going to talk forever sometimes. And as much as I love my own voice, which I don't. <laughs> sometimes you just want to hear a little, a little, little bit of news and then that's the end, right? It's definitely your cup of tea. You should definitely dip out sooner rather than later. But if you have stuck around, you listen to me ramble on my inner thoughts, thoughts about future, thoughts about life, thoughts about my channel, you know, question mark there. That's sort of like a smaller thing on the scale. It was mostly just a 
me thinking about life over the last few days. That has been a big point of a contention. Yeah, toss that expensive garbage out of here. Give me some even more expensive garbage if you don't mind. Strata. Yeah. Oh, we do have more trinkets still. Okay. Wait, I got a whetstone from that fight. That was a, a basic fight. It's just a sign things are going on too long. Alright. Finish off this guy and we're done. I don't care how long the run wants to go on for, we're just going to dip. And this is a fair hand. Ooh. Like, you gotta do this one, right? Yeah. Cool. It's fun little chain. And we have Unceasing Top. I didn't even notice, so this will be fun. Uh-huh. Do you want to keep him coming? Aw. That's a fun runer. Hmm. All right, but yeah, that's it. We're, we're just going to cut it here. Thanks for watching, guys. Free, again, appreciate you listening if you did. Look forward to getting back into the normal routine here once things get... Oh, what the fuck? I'll probably continue playing this while this uploads, but yeah, that's going to be it for me here. Uh, look forward to seeing some videos tomorrow, maybe one, maybe two. See, we'll figure it out. For now, get yourself a snack. We'll see you on the next one.